Greetings. I'm Michael Quinn Patton with ruminations on Janus evaluation. Janus was the Roman god of transitions, one face looking backward, one face looking forward, one face looking to the past, one face looking to the future. And this evokes two kinds of evaluation, retrospective evaluation and prospective evaluation. Retrospective developmental evaluation involves looking to the past to see how a program already operating has gotten to its current state. It's a look at forks in the road, not just a pure history, but what decisions got made, what changes and developments led to the current baseline against which a new evaluation may take place. The World Food Program conducted a retrospective evaluation of its response to COVID-19 in 2020-2021. And the framework of retrospective developmental evaluation involved looking at what things were maintained, what things were expanded, what pivots took place, changes in direction, and what innovations had to occur, as well as anything that was stopped. This is a framework for looking at the back at things that have already happened to understand how the future may unfold, which brings us to prospective evaluation. Prospective evaluation is an examination of the likelihood of success of new proposals, new ideas, new programs. In the 1980s, the Government Accountability Office, Program Evaluation and Methodology Division, issued a number of methodological papers, one of which was a breakthrough paper on prospective evaluation methods. Prospective evaluation involved gathering information on the likely outcomes of proposed programs, proposed legislation, the adequacy of proposed regulations, or proposed solutions to priority problems. The focus of the prospective evaluation is on how evaluation studies cast light on the potential for success of proposed programs, as opposed to reaching conclusions about the actual performance of existing programs. Prospective evaluation methods include careful textual analysis of a proposed program, designed to clarify the implied goals of that program and how results are expected to be achieved. Review and synthesis of evaluation studies from similar programs or policies and summary judgments by the evaluators of like of success, given projections and scenarios about the future context. So Janus evaluation invites us to look at retrospective evaluation, how things unfolded in the past to get to the present moment, and prospective evaluation, the likelihood of future proposals for programs and policies of being successful. I'm Michael Quinn Patton, and that's my riff on Janus evaluation.